I was really happy that today I can use the internet because when I did some research about you, I, for me it was too too obvious just talk about the Superman. So I, did, I found a very cool website with fun facts about you. And the interesting thing is that before you turned out to be an actor, you, you were actually a professional football player. Is that right? Professional American football, 926 years ago. Yeah, no, so I played uh, I played for the Buffalo Bills. If there's any American football fans out there, anybody? No. All right, we got three or four. Good, thank you. Uh, so I played for the Buffalo Bills. I got injured right away, and then uh, had to find a, a job. So I have a job now where I can pretend to be a football player. That's perfect. But yeah, I love, football was a huge part of my life, and athletics have always been a, a huge part of my life, a big part of my identity, and it was great fun to be be able to play Superman and be an athlete too. I think it was really important to the role because he was physical. Do you still do a lot of sports these days? Obviously yeah. you do, but yeah. I mean, yeah, I do. Well, my son, I have a 19 year old son and he's a, he fights Brazilian uh, Jiu Jitsu, so he likes to beat me up around the house. So I have to train with him and that's a lot of fun. But I still, you know, I, uh, I live right by the ocean, so I swim a lot and surf and um, I, I like to play a little bit of basketball here and there. Run and stay. I stay physically active. It's fun. It's really, it's really nice. So, uh, but I don't. You can't play like pickup football because you just if you ran because football is such a physical. You hit, you hit people all the time. I like to run into people. Um, so they, you know, so it's, it's hard for me to play just pickup football. And you don't want to get injured, so you're going to miss another. You like eggs and things of that nature. Trying to make up uh, five or six different egg dishes. Um, he likes, uh, he loves, you know, chicken, so I can make about four or five chicken dishes, pasta dishes. I can, I can make any, anything. Uh, I think my cooking is going to change now, that it's just me. So i got to figure, so I, I'm going to start hitting people up for recipes. Monique, I'll hit you up too. So I'll, I'll find some good recipes. We're seeing you too. I need some help. Um, i got to figure out some recipes to cook. Let's, let's do it this way. Everyone here who goes to, to Dean today for a picture, or for, for an autograph, should bring you a new recipe. Bring me a recipe, I'll take it. That's a deal. I want like three recipes for roasting too, because I gotta make sure I can do it right. And the best one gets invited to you, uh, from you, uh, you cook for me, right? I'll, I'll cook for that. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I'm not gonna rule it out. It's very possible. Otherwise, we take the chair back. I'll keep this in my chair. This is my chair. This is amazing. It really is. And it's a really comfortable chair, by the way, too. It looks pretty cool. Yes. So if, if you don't cook for yourself, what is the thing that you like to eat the, the, the most? What's your favorite dish you like to eat? I, the cat's sort of out of the bag because I... See, on Twitter about six months ago or five months ago, I don't know how long ago it was, I, I always loved what we, we call in the States hash browns. And I was corrected by a friend of mine here who said, no, in Sweden, uh, in Switzerland, we call it Rushy. And I was like, what is this? Until I got here and I had it. So I will say that without a doubt is one of my most favorite dishes of all time. I had it this morning with an egg on top. Brilliant. The yolk kind of burnt us off. A little bacon on the side. Mwah. So that was my favorite dish today, anyway. Um, and I'm learning how to cook that. So that may be my go to dish. It's so good. That's, that sounds like a very good reason to come back in. Just yes. because of the food. I will do it. Done. That's great. That's great. Done. <laughs> Another fun thing that I found out, I'm not quite sure if that's correct, but you grew up in Malibu, is that right? Malibu, California. And it's said that you grew up with the likes of Chopin, Rob Lowe, Charlie Sheen, and people like that. How can you think, can't imagine a neighborhood like that? <laughs> well, the truth of the matter is we were all kids of people who worked in the film industry. I didn't really know that though. They were just, you know, Sean, Sean Penn's a great surfer. So I knew Sean was older and a good, great surfer. Uh, Rob Lowe was around my, he's a year older than me. And I just knew that, you know, he was Rob and a good guy and his brother Chad, good little athlete. So I just knew everybody as their, who they were until high school, you know, and Charlie Sheen was a guy I played baseball with, you know, and, and a nice guy. But I grew up with Charlie since I was in kindergarten. And then my dad was a director, and, he, and some of these kids, when I went to college to be an athlete and go to school, some of these kids started uh, acting. Sean Penn was the first one to do so, a show, a film called Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And all he was playing was basically all the kids in Malibu, surfer kids that we grew up with. I'm like, he's just being himself, really. He's being some version of all the guys we know. And that's what you do as actors. We're watching, 
we're always watching and trying to pick up bits and pieces from people that we see on the street or whatever. So Sean was playing a guy that he knew, in a sense. So I started watching these guys get it, making a living as actors, and I thought, this is amazing. Uh, not what I wanted to do. I wanted to play football in a school. Um, but then they all started becoming very famous. And when I was in college, my father directed, produced and directed a movie called Young Guns. And he had half of these kids in the film. So uh, it was sort of a natural progression for me to know that that's where I was going to head afterward. Because making a film is so much fun. It can be, the, it's a really creative process, telling a story, and, and it certainly beats a nine to five job where you have to wear a suit. No offense to anybody who has to do that. But uh, I don't want to, I never wanted to have that sort of lifestyle. And I grew up on sets, so it was something that appealed to me. Being, being connected to the role of Superman for so long, now I'm sitting on that comfortable chair. Do you, do you own any memorabilia from Superman? Did you keep the suit from the show or anything like that? I, so we did four seasons, but we were picked up to do season five. So we left season four going, okay, we'll, we'll see you all in July, we'll be back for season five. And, and we already had the deal and we already talked about it. While I was away between season four and five, I was making a movie in Toronto and I got a phone call and they told me that the show was ending because Terry Hatcher got pregnant and was a difficult pregnancy and so she wasn't gonna be able to work. And that's essentially what ended the show. So we were supposed to do season five. If I had known we were stopping at season four, I would have stolen everything. I would have taken suits, I would have taken Clark's dad, but, but I didn't know we were gonna go, so I didn't, I didn't take it again. No memorabilia from the show, nothing at all. No suit, no cape, no boots, nothing. So uh, I've got, I've got nothing. I got nothing. That's, that's right now, that's where you say moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay though, I still got the show, and, and it's wonderful. A lot of people have brought me DVDs of the show here to sign, and that makes me very happy. It makes me happy that someone knows what a DVD is anymore. It's true, like nobody, like my son, if you gave him a DVD, he'd be like, you know, what do I do with this thing? If it's not streaming, I don't know what it is. Um, I